I don't know what's going to happen this video, but whatever it is, we're still focusing on the uh, natural five or six achievements I'm looking at here, plus STE, but that's, uh, that's a second problem. I said I was going to enable the other neighbor. I guess I'll set it just to, you know, at least get it out of the way if I can get the chance to, but if it doesn't happen, then, well, it doesn't happen. I mean, if I can get another achievement too, that would be great, but as we get into Zictas, roll the four character exclusive random item Mizuki. I guess we're gonna see what a weapon Mizuki looks like again. It's I don't want to say it's been a while, but it'll depend on our mis it'll depend on our mysteries, too. Takshisan, charisma, dexterity, knowledge, second mystery, and maybe a second encounter. I would have liked strength. I think I'm still gonna go strength. Uh, I do want to set the monument to avoid issues, so I will do that. But I'm also going to enable a cult shop because things. So. Let's get this show on the road and see what we can do. Unfortunately, we're not Ico. After a certain point, we'll probably just pick Ico, but we'll still try to randomize as much of the run as possible. That's how I like to do it anyway. But we have Scissors, Flood, Nails, Hell, and Fe I almost said Bulletin. Hell and Festival. So we want to do these three first, or I like doing boss mysteries first that are pretty much guaranteed. Well, Scissors is 50-50, but you're stuck in a location anyway anyway, for as short as that time is. Flood, I want to take third. Nails, I'll take second. I think I'm going to go into Scissors and see what I can do. But first, we are on timeline A. I don't want to try for the thing, but... I was thinking about it. I guess I'm gonna go for the Curse Scissors. If we die, maybe I'll do a second run like the previous video. Because <laughs> that's that's something I might need to do. Another spell would have been nice, but... Let's hold on to our reason for the moment and see. We do get Kyoko immediately, so we get, we're get we getting extra damage. Don't know if that's gonna help. And yeah, since our stamina dropped, I'm really, I really need to remember to use the library notes. If possible. But we'll see. First and foremost, though, if we can get the rooftop, that would be nice. Unfortunately, we get Maru instead. I think we two-shot this, but we take two all damage in the course of this. I can trade off Reason for Stamina. I don't think I want to do that still. So we're going to keep moving on. And before the end of the mystery, as I sneezed... <laughs> Ooh, I had to mute myself. Weak? I... Do I? Yeah, I do, don't I? I want to do this. Yeah, I want to do this. So, we trade our thing for a box cutter. Broken, because we did not unlock the box cutter yet. But on average, it's going to be better than the bat. If for no other reason, than we get to at least... Brace? But maybe I'll find out soon that the broken box cutter isn't actually as good. So, while we have the reason, we might as well do this. <sighs> Is that going to be helpful for the scissor lady? It Because it costs stamina, no. I'm going to keep using them. Well, we did get third eye. I'm gonna use it one more time. If the notes fall, go away, so be it. Uh, sure, we technically have three reasons to spend- Yeah, I'm coming, hold on for a moment. Uh, as much as that would be useful, because we are gonna be in this encounter for a while, I don't think we can do that. So, I hope we can hit this, but boy, is it gonna take a while. Alternatively, I could do prep attack, prep attack. Thankfully, Kyoko is giving me damage. I might need to send Kyoko too. We're gonna find out. But do I want to gamble on four damage for one all or guarantee eight damage for three all? If I'm lucky, I would get more damage with Brace, but I'm gonna do a mix. I usually do a mix, so let's do this first. And then see where we're at, because I get 10 damage on demand with Desperate Prep Strong. The question is if I want a skin removal now. 6 damage, 12. So 6 reason for 12 damage. I think I can get out now. This is a very, very specific case, but if I don't want any RNG, I should be able to do this. I'm gonna prepare to throw the box cutter just in case, but yeah, that should be guaranteed. The box cutters only do one damage when thrown, whether broken or not, I believe, so I mean, either way, it's better for me to just get rid of it. That being said, I'm also very thankful that the library notes stayed for four uses, but 
Let's see how lucky I really am. So I think the only other thing I need to do is get the glass eye from the occult shop. I hope it costs three funds. We're going to find out. Or we can just not get it, but we're going to find out how long it takes for me to get the glass eye. Unless I just don't have it unlocked. Now I'm just curious at this moment. Okay, now I'm just really curious. It has to exist, right? Am I going crazy? Do I have to unlock this thing? No, I'm just really unlucky. All right, well, we're going to stick with this run. I might do another run if I need to, but I was just really, really curious as to see what happened. Also, I did forget Third Eye, didn't I? Well, hey. Wait, what? Did I forget Third Eye? Why would I forget Third Eye? I would have survived even if I... Anywho. Well, we die anyway, so I guess we're doing another run immediately. <laughs> I needed some good luck. I swear I didn't throw on purpose, but... That or I mindlessly picked that decision, but as we get to Azal, World of Horror character exclusive Haru. Oh, can we go for a 10 damage kick as Haru? I think that's less likely with Haru, right? If I don't... I mean, there are ways to build up to it, but Takshisan, Light, Charisma, Second Mystery, Knowledge, and maybe a Strength check. I would like it, but we'll see what happens here. But I really goofed that up, didn't I? Well, hey... We'll go with my Haru favorite, except for maybe the vending machine, but I'll leave the- No, we need the vending machine, who am I kidding? If I do a cult shop, I need to enable dog shop, and I'm not gonna trade police station for that. Although, I am trying to... Unlock achievements, so... Yeah, I should have actually done, do done dog shop, a cult shop. Mermaid's Vigil, Festival, Bulletin, and Hell. Again, if nothing else, we're going to go for the old neighbor achievement, so I'll try to warn you when that happens. Seems like we're going to do Vigil first. Either way, we have a lot of roads, roads closed shenanigans, so I definitely want to do every other thing to the right. And until we get the meat cleaver, I'm not going to smoke my cigarettes because there's no point. I'm probably just going to run anyway. So, yeah, this is a very specific Haru strat as well. Unless I want to do this... Uh, what I forgot what happens when I do this. Oh, I lose two all. Well... Three all, because penalty damage, but I didn't know what the threat level was going to be walking in here. Also, I didn't do the Vigil, so that's going to be a thing, but we will get the Meat Cleaver. So, what does this Meat Cleaver... We are in random item stats, right? So, it didn't look that random. Maybe it's a bit slower, but now we smoke the cigarettes, and now we see what we can do. So... I think even without the Vigil pamphlet, you can start doing the Vigil. You'll still fail because the game is... I guess I, Apparently the game needs to read that you have the Vigil pamphlet on you. But the most important part is that you can't do the second step, which if it's the burning of the envelope, you can instead get a, an item from the envelope or a spell. But if we're going to be suffering here, I might as well just keep suffering. So we are on a max threat level location, by the way. So yeah, our doom is going to increase through the roof. But while we're here, we'll go for a we'll go for a one tap here. That would be nice. The, we'll take the experience basically is what we're doing here. This is not a bad strategy either. I just prefer not to do it because again, I favor doom. And since I know I will need the another uh, at least another pack of cigarettes. Yeah. Anywho, I should actually be gambling on the normal attack. I'm not for some reason, but you know, we'll deal with it. So, as we get out of Vigil here and we have a weapon for free, we don't need to, but I'm just deciding to get a weapon as Haru here as I ha got Azal penaltyed because I forgot about Azal. What is our penalty, by the way? Why did I lose so much? Oh, 10 exp- never mind, I had no choice in the matter. And now I do, but boy, it's not great. So, bulletin it is. Each item in inventory, and I don't really plan to do that, but... I think I need to tree for funds instead, because this is going to hurt otherwise, doom-wise, if I prepare for funds. So, speaking of which, as I'm here, just doing what I can at the moment, as I- wait, hold on, we're festival. What's our high threat level? Seaside. Festival. Why am I forgetting the other ones? I think we have household hell, too, so I'm going to police station the mansion. But we're in Bulletin now, so we do need to watch out for Doom. But I also need to keep an eye on my experience. I, we can visit the police station to trade a thing for a thing. I'm, hold on, I'm just losing my mind for the moment. But yeah, as for achievements, I mean, I, we might have no other cho uh, choice but to 
do the creepy neighbor one, which involves me clicking off screen off of World of Horror, but if it's the only one we can do, it's the only one we can do. I'm trying to think of anything else aside from maybe STE, but STE as Haru, uh, I don't feel inclined to do it unless the game starts forcing me to. Well, okay, fine. I guess we'll go for it. We'll go for it and see. We could just end up healing up. We do have festival, but we also have a lot of pain that can happen, so... Okay, what I wanted to say is, Izal Haru is a very interesting interaction. You want to smoke cigarettes, obviously, but you also are worried about the doom that Azal might be increasing over the run. So you do need to decide if you want another source of funds to get more cigarettes, if you just want to play with one pack of cigarettes, which is possible, or you maybe there's a, you know, in this case we have the experience rule in which we can enter the police station to trade off experience for funds, but entering the police station costs doom, but if you need to toss the experience like I do now, then hey, also one, uh, two doom for every item in inventory, so let's one, smoke these cigarettes now, but two, we can toss this. It's not going to always proc, but we do want to get rid of this before we... Or store it before we end the mystery. And if I need funds for another pack of cigarettes, I should just enter the police station now. But... I didn't count. Hopefully this is only my second village investigation. There are three village investigations at the end here. Did I? Oh, meat cleaver. Meat cleaver? Is that an automatic event if you have a requirement? Because the only thing I can think of is if you have the meat cleaver. I didn't click on anything, anything did I? Anywho, well, either way, we, yeah, we're at the end of mystery, so I made a mistake. So our doom is going to increase by at least three. I just need to make sure that I'm not doing anything else to myself. But we'll take this doom and move on. That being said, yeah, I probably can't fight STE here. Our doom is already high enough as it is. Which means I can't use it indirectly to heal. If, assuming I run into STE. STE standing for something truly evil. I shortened it to STE. But... We'll do our best. So we lost Bath. That's also gonna hurt any chance of us wanting to do STE. But, hey. I'm gonna store these handcuffs. I hopefully won't need them. Going into either one is gonna be... Either one, really. Although I should... If I believed I was going to fight... The boss and festival. I should have taken festival third, but you know what? We'll we'll be fine with it. So we'll trade off reason here for funds for the moment. But if we don't, do I believe I'm gonna level up? I already have no. No, I didn't. I didn't get core strength. So I'm gonna take a gamble here and keep going. One, not getting cigarettes, but two, also not trading experience for funds. And if we somehow reach the end of mystery quickly, then I guess we die to doom. But yeah. Oh, or hunger. Maybe it was hunger. Having hunger. Anywho. Go for the weapon. Nope. Why? Why? Eight strength. Roll eleven. Cool. I'm trying to proc the creepy neighbor while the screen is loading. I don't think I can do it quick. I think you have to actually wait a while before he appears, but we'll see. Yeah, so without further ado, equipped items don't count towards the item, the the thing, and yeah, we didn't get to level up, so this is gonna hurt a lot. Uh, that's 9% doom, right? Well, we're not dead yet. It's looking very likely, though, uh, that I... I promise you, it's looking very likely. Wow, we get... we got... Really unlucky this run, by the way. <laughs> I Also, that being said, I could try to grab Moriko. So you know what? We're going to sit here for a moment. Ep epilepsy warning for a moment as I do this. Oh my goodness. Okay, then we get the rumor. No more epilepsy warning. But I know it hurts my eyes. Also, I, I could have grabbed funds there. I forgot to. But into festival we go. And we shouldn't need to worry as much about our experience. Though it is, it has increased our doom a whole lot. I'll do my best to survive. But if we don't, hey. Uh, well, I didn't even know what it was trading for. I would have liked Iwa, though. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but... This creepy neighbor is not appearing. So, I don't remember the exact way to make him appear, but... 
I mean, while we have some good combat, I'm just gonna throw caution to the wind and roll on a 50-50, pretty much. 75% to 75%. And then we'll move on. Now, getting more experience is actually bad for me right now, but not much I can do about it when I don't have any way to dump my experience. We can dump our funds just fine, but experience? Oh no, you can't do that. That being said, the, the only balancing factor we have is that every 10 experience is only one Doom rounded down, so... Take what you can get, pretty much treat your current run as a Knight Errant run if you get the experience rule immediately, and yeah, you'll be happy. Now, Book of Gore is nice, but we can't use the injuries at the moment. I would advise you to use Book of Gore and keep it, but if you're not, like, I don't feel that my RNG for injuries, if anything else, is going to be very good. Because what I would have used Book of Gore for was to enter the monument, but... If I immediately get a broken jaw or something, or the injuries I get are really, really debilitating, or bad, so to say, then yeah, it would not help. So, four Doom, move on. Really? Only four Doom? Anywho. Lost Bath, that's right. Last Mystery, 78% Doom. Again, we can still win. It's very, very likely. Or, it's still likely to, that we can survive, it's just I need to do things correctly. So, uh... <laughs> I'm just going to do it, but we need to do something else with our life, so we need, we definitely need one more pack of cigarettes, so that means I'm going to sell this, and we hope and pray? Yeah, and if we get out of funds, we'll trade off reason, but I do need at least one more pack of cigarettes, because it's very likely, going into mermaids, that we have to do a thing. I'm going to roll on my luck as well, but... Rolled 10, so, I mean, I do remember very bad events. Also, I should go enter the police station to set the patrols to the school, because we have at least two or three more school investigations, so... I could trade off experience here... Uh, but no, because I am going to level up, guaranteed. We're just, we just have that many investigations left. If you forget, every investigation you get about two experience, including this, apparently, but... I knew better than that. I just thought that with 7 Perception, maybe, just maybe, I could roll well here. Died on a 12, by the way, and I knew failing this was 3 Stamina, but I just thought maybe I could turn this run around, and the game said nah. But hold on for a moment. We can survive, but I... Not for long, so... <laughs> I think I used both tree visits for the thing, so I do have to rest here, even if it's terrible. But this event is, is one stamina one reason, in case anyone forgot. On top of, yes, every investigation, so, so if you look at my experience, it's going to increase from, it's going to increase from 3 to 5. And that's normal, which is why Compass makes it a lot better, because it adds, was it 2 or 5? I can't remember. The Compass adds, bit, even if it was only 2 experience more per uh, investigation, that's a lot of experience to get. But as we look to desperate struggle our way out of this encounter, this is real, right? Why am I doing so much damage? Anywho. I really forgot. But let me see here. So. If this is... Tw this should be at least 12 damage per, right? Yeah. Well, I got bonus damage, but you get the point. It would have been 12, but we got bonus damage. I'll keep it, but we're dying soon. So I need to do a thing. Um... Is this okay? For now it is. Unfortunately, didn't get Moriko. I don't think I'm even going to get anything else, but we need to store everything for the moment. We can't notice the face or distract... Uh, that's right, attack dog. I think I could take burns here, right? I should be able to take burns here. And then uh, experience rule, so... And time skip. What a time. Okay, so I don't even need to look for the creepy neighbor because we're dead no matter what. I keep forgetting that's one of the few things that's happened a lot more recently where time skip just decides die. Jordan, time to die. And I'm like, well, sure thing, bro. But anywho, nothing much we can do here. We just accept our doom and move on. Experience rule mystery one into time skip at the very end. I, we, at least we could take our frustrations out on Takshi-san. He gets a one shot here, but you know. I guess I'll see you in the next video. Support me if you want to, and it's in more pain. Look at this dog!